Hey guys, how are you? And I welcome you to my video. My name is Harshit Devedi, friends. And in this video, I am going to talk to you about paradox of thrift. Now, friends, this paradox of thrift was popularized by a renowned economist known as John Maynard Keynes. John Maynard Keynes is a very famous name. He was a noted economist of the 20th century. Now, what does this paradox of thrift says? First of all, I will explain it to you in a statistical, you know, in a mathematical sense. In a mathematical example, and then I will tell you uh, the general aspects of these things. Let's suppose that there are, you know, friends, uh, suppose that an economy consists of 100 people, just as you assume, and if every of those 100 people earns $200 per head, okay, friends. So there are 100 people in the in an economy, and everybody is earning $200 per head. So total earnings will be around $20,000, okay, friends. Now, suppose that. Uh, all of them suppose that all of them is spend 75% of their earnings and save 25% of their earnings okay they are spending 75% saving 25% so $200 is the in income they are spending 75% that means that they are spending $150 because 75% of $200 is $150 and they are saving 25% which means that they are saving around uh, $50 so out of $200 $150 is their spending and $50 is their saving so there are total 100 people so what will be the total spending 150 dollars into 100 15000 dollars will be the spending and saving will be around 50 into 100 5 uh, 5000 dollars so 15000 dollars will be the spending and uh, again 5000 dollars will be the saving and total income was 20000 dollars so here we can say that if the spending is $15,000, so a lot of money is being injected back into the market. So the money is injected into the market, that money will be used by a lot of people. That money will uh, generate employment, that money, you know, will increase the demand for products because if the people are going to spend more part of their income, then obviously the demand for goods, different types of goods will increase. So if the demand for different types of goods will increase, obviously the economic climate, the economics sentiment will be more active okay now let's see a second scenario the second scenario is that there are 100 people in the economy everyone is earning 200 dollars per head but now something like this has happened that people are spending only 25 percent of their income and they are saving 75 percent of their income this has happened so now what will happen that they are spending 25 percent that is they are spending 50 dollars each head so 100 people so total investment spending will be five thousand dollars and savings will be 75 into 200 fifteen hundred dollars fifteen thousand dollars so the, now the savings is fifteen thousand dollars and the spending is five thousand dollars so john maynard Keynes says that when the spending is less previous in the previous case in the first case the spending was fifteen thousand dollars and in the second case the spending has become five thousand dollars so initially the spending was three times then the second time so when the spending is more investment climate and economic climate will be high because there will be demand of products and more demand means more economic activity and in the second case obviously the spending has been less so the demand will reduce and if the demand will reduce there will be a sort of economic recession and when the demand will re reduce the demand for goods will reduce obviously many people now when the demand for goods is not there then economic climate is bad if the economic climate is bad many people will become unemployed you know if many people will become unemployed there will be further lessening of demand because if people are becoming unemployed then obviously whatever they were spending that spending will also stop because they have become unemployed and their source of funding has finished so obviously if during a recession recession means when the economic climate is less when the amount of money injected in the market is less when the people are purchasing less when the employment is less so in that um, case if the people are saving more and they are spending less so obviously they are safe safeguarding their income they are not injecting their income into the economy and if they are not injecting their income into the economy then obviously the economic climate will be slow down this is what a paradox of thrifts mean by John Maynard Keynes. Keynes said that even if there is a recession, people should spend more because the more they will spend, the more money will go into the economy. And if more money will go into the economy, more economic climate will be boosted. Because when more money is being spent by the people, there will be more demand for goods. And if there will be more demands of goods, the production will increase. And if the production will increase, obviously the economic boom will be there. Uh, the suppliers and the manufacturers will be producing more but if the people on their own will start spending less and saving more then obviously 
द डिमांड विल इक्रीज डिक्रीज एंड इफ द डिमांड विल डिक्रीज ऑब्वियसली वट विल हैपन दैट द सप्लाई इन द मैनुफैक्चर विल ऑल्सो डिक्रीज एंड द इकोनॉमिक क्लाइमेट विल गो डाउन सो दिस इज पैराडॉक्स ऑफ थ्रेड पैराडॉक्स ऑफ थ्रेड सेज दैट इन द टाइम ऑफ अ रिसेशन वेन द इकोनॉमी इज towards a doom when the economy is going downwards then obviously people if the people start saving more and spending less then it will further lead to the worsening of the situation it will not improve the situation this is what the paradox thrift theory of john maynard keynes say now the non keynesian economics john maynard keynes belongs to the keynesian school the whole keynesian school on his name and the paradox of thrift theory belongs to the keynesian school of economics now the non keynesian school of economics has a different view about this scenario the non keynesian school of economics they say that if even if the people are saving more and spending less then also their saving is there in their bank accounts and that saving can be used by the banks to further lend to other business and corporation which will do economic activity and you know uh, produce, uh, promote employment produce goods improve the economic sentiment of the economy what happens friends that non keynesian economy uh, their view point is also up to a point correct what happens that if a person is saving more suppose the same scenario is told that out of 200 dollar if he is spending 50 dollars and if he is saving 150 dollars so that 150 dollars will be in his bank account and that money is with the bank and bank can lower the interest rates and you know lend that money for lower interest rates to banking corp to corporations industries micro small and medium enterprises you know women entrepreneurs and that will in that term boost the economy now lot of factors come here this thing is true for people who are you know saving this thing into their bank account for countries like india you know indonesia pakistan bangladesh and maldives sri lanka shechs in these type of countries what is happening that people are less educated people financial inclusion is not very high so when when their financial inclusion is not very high the amount of money that they are saving it is not necessary that that saving is in the banking channels okay it may be in the form of cash with them or for example even if they are saving they may not put in bank put it in bank they what they will do they will go and purchase some sort of you know say gold they purchased okay so this type of things if they are going to purchase then also the money is not available in the formal banking system so it depends upon a lot of factors so paradox of thrift means that during a time of the recession okay if the people are saving more and spending less then they are reducing the amount of money available in the economy which is going to further the cause of recession and they are going to further deteriorate the economic climate so this is what paradox of thrift means i hope this paradox of thrift theory of john maynard keynes is very much clear to you friends thank you for watching my video have a nice day